Evening all, uh, Saturday night, uh, quick pre-race uh, run through the kit. We've got Charlie trying to get in on the video here, look. So we've got um, Lichfield Cathedral to Tamworth Castle tomorrow, 10 miles. So just flip the video around and show you the kit, quickly talk you through what we've got for tomorrow. And then we will uh, pick up in the morning uh, as we are getting ready for uh, race prep. So, as always, uh, we'll run through the kit, um, both that we're running in and the kit we've got for travelling in, warm clothes, etc. So, we've got uh, race kit, uh, trusty white Cielli Athletics uh, race cap. We're going with uh, more Nike running vest this week, so uh, another Nike running uh, division vest in coral. Uh, race number, as you can see there, 304. Uh, we're relying on the Safe Sky shorts again. Um, like I said in last week's video, um, just find them so comfortable, it's unreal. Uh, really, really getting on with them. Um, we're potentially going with a white sock tomorrow. I don't know what the uh, what the terrain's going to be like, what the surface is going to be like, but if not, we'll go with a pair of the stance. Um, we're also tomorrow taking some arm sleeves because temperatures dropped a little bit this week so we're gonna just wrap up with some arm sleeves um, we've got a adidas terex uh, waterproof jacket Cielli, uh black cap needs a bit of a clean really uh, we've got an under armor long sleeved that we're going to travel in and then some night trail uh, pants just for traveling in as always we've got the flip belt for carrying my gels and my phone says we can video throughout the race. Um, like last week, we've got a um, protein bar in the pack just to have before the races and 8.30 start tomorrow. So the likelihood of getting any breakfast in is, uh, is, is slim to none. So I'll probably uh, take a protein bar, some pre-workout and maybe a gel pre-race. We've got a couple of uh, High Five Aqua uh, energy gels um, tried the the aqua last week and found it a little bit watery or more watery than the uh, than the torque gels I've been using recently so um, we're gonna we, we bought a box and then we're gonna give them a whirl for a few weeks and see how we go um, for after the race we've got tailwind recovery vanilla shake so um, as you see there, we've got the bottles. One, the black one will be for recovery. Uh, the orange lid there has got pre-workout in it for pre-race. Um, and then we've got a choice of footwear that we're going to go with tomorrow. Um, we've got the Alpha Flies. Uh, I'm not sure if tomorrow's uh, surfaces are going to be um, really ideal for, um, for, for getting the best out of them. But we've also got the Brooks Hyperion tempo uh trusty um comfort shoes for uh for getting in loads of miles so we may opt for them in the morning we will drop back on uh as we're arriving around the start line tomorrow as we always do try and do a quick video um to uh to, to um sort of show you the layout of course what we're doing etc and then we'll uh, jump in and out throughout the race thanks for listening as always guys Morning guys, uh, just arrived in Litchfield, uh, walking down to Beacon Park, which is where the, uh, the start line is. Um, as you can see from the big jacket I'm in, it's uh, slightly different conditions to last week's run at Monsell. Um, it's currently minus one, uh, even with the big coat on, I'm pretty cold, so, um, we will uh, have a mooch about, see what the start line's like. Um, it's listed as a multi-terrain course, but I think in the main, it's pretty much road and track type running. So there's no sort of out and out off-road trail type running involved. Still undecided on the footwear, um, I think the, uh, the Brooks will take over and uh, will probably be the right choice for today. Um, I think with, with a lot of the road running, the, uh, the Alpha Flies will give me a lot of um, 
will be very receptive as I'm running, should I say. But I think the areas where we're off-road could uh, kill me a little bit more. So we'll, um, we'll pick back up, just head over towards the start line. We'll show you around the start where we're at and then we will start to get ready, start prepping, get kit on and uh, run from there. See you later. Right guys, we're down at the start line. Uh, apologies about the music, it's uh, all starting to uh, get ready here. We are at about 10 past eight. So first of the runners will be leaving in about 30 minutes, or about 20 minutes, sorry. The coach is arriving, so uh, looking at it, I think the plan is start here, we head out, that way back towards the road and then we get on to um, the local roads do a bit of a route around the roads and then start making our way over to Tamworth so um, as I say it's absolutely Baltic this morning it's about minus one um, as it stands at the minute so shorts and vest are not going to be pleasant for the uh, for the first hour or so but uh, we will uh, we'll start things off, we'll uh, jump in probably just as we're coming through the start line today because uh, although I think there's 2,000 runners registered from what I read on the uh, on the website, um, I think it's a staggered start over 30 minutes so we will um, try and get a, just a quick video of us leaving and then with it being a 10 mile race today we will drop in three or four times throughout the, uh, the, the course. Um, my target for today, for today guys is around about 12 and a half minute miles. So anything inside 125 minutes, just over an hour and I'll be reasonably happy with. Um, I know there's guys targeting sort of 105, 110 today, but um, uh, it'll be the, the longest step up for me. We'll uh, see if we can get the, uh, the 12 and a half minutes. If the legs are feeling good. We might uh, we might try and push it a little bit harder, but we'll see uh, we'll see how things are feeling. Uh, like I said, the cold might do me a bit of a favour in comparison to last week, where it was absolutely blistering. Um, so we'll drop back on as we're heading towards the start and uh, let you know how we're getting on from there. See you later. Right guys, that's us passing through the start line, heading off on 10 miles, it's minus one, sleeves are on, let's, uh, so when you and Leanne have got a target of 10 minute miles, I'm running somewhere between 10 and 10 and a half, we'll keep with these as long as we can, if we can, and see how we go. So, drop back in and out for a number of little videos throughout today. Just let you know how everything's going. You'll be on YouTube. Right, we're just about two and a half mile in. Trekking about 10 minute miles. So, pace is relatively good track so far has been tarmac all the way legs feeling okay temperature's picked up quite a bit now or well, core temperature at least so target is 10 minute miles as far as we can go and then see how we drop off from there we'll drop back in in a couple of miles and let you know an update from there Right guys, we're six and a half miles in, just come in, back up towards the road, so come through the woodland, gone absolutely brutal, constant uphill, so we're now water station, thank you, water station, a little bit to go three and a half miles to go drop back in as we finish in uh, 
Russian wine in uh, very Russian Leanne. I've gone now. They're at 10 minute miles. I've dropped back to around about 10, 45, 11 minute miles. So we'll drop back in as we're coming towards the end. Thank you. Let's see how we go. Oh right, guys. We've got about half a mile left. Pace has dropped off to about 11.15, 11.30. But we're currently on an hour and 40 minutes. My target was two hours, two hours, oh five. So really pleased with the time I've put in. Let's just have one big finish and then we'll pick up on you. Thank you. Right. Crowds are now starting to line up along the finish, so we're not a million miles off. We'll keep on. We'll turn the camera around in a minute so that you can see the finish. Last quarter of a mile. Charlie's caught up with me to come and run it with me. Say hello, Charles. Hi. Right, guys. I'll try and keep the camera as steady as I can as we're coming to finish. You see. Finish line's just there. Well done. Cheers, mate, thank you. Well done. Hard one, is Here we go then. Up to the finish. Right guys, Cathedral of Castle, 10 mile, done. Came in ever so slightly shorter than 10 miles at 9.9, .9, but uh, course is marked out. I'll put that down to the watch as much as anything. We finished in the time, 146 and a half. So I've got a target of two hours, two hours 20, uh, sorry, two hours, two hours five in my mind to complete. Um, to be honest, made a bit of an error from the start, uh, running with Russ and, uh, and Leanne. And they said from the onset they were going to set 10 minute mile paces. Um, I misread that as being 12 minute mile paces and decided to run with them for the first five miles. Uh, so from there, uh, we dropped down to about 11 and then 11 and a half towards the end just to finish. But um, all in all, really pleased with the way we finished. Um, say 15 to 20 minutes off the time that I'd set myself. It's two minutes an hour, that, uh, two minutes a mile. That's, that's a great achievement as far as I'm concerned. Um, as always, really appreciate you joining in and listening to these and watching these videos. Um, please like, share and subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Um, coming up over the next few weeks we've got one more race next week and then we're going to start to go back start the journey again almost for the sake of the channel and do some catch to 5k and some uh, some some early stage work we'll talk a little bit more about some of the kit that I've bought and reviewed and worn etc as well just to uh, to do a little few, few little short videos um, but for today uh, 10 miles done complete longest run happy as Larry uh, 15 minutes off where I expected to be so like subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one cheers guys